Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be doing a unboxing of my huge oh, haul from the good and the beautiful. So stay tuned. All right, well, if you are new, welcome to my channel, Pursuing Peace. My name is Dina, and I am a homeschooling mom of five kiddos, six and under. <laughs> I will get their ages right at some point. And on this channel, I share my passions for Christ, for homeschooling, and for encouraging mamas in their faith and in this crazy but amazing season of motherhood. If you'd like to join me on this journey, then click the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that way you know whenever new videos pop up. You can also follow us over on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace if you'd like to get an inside peek on what we do on a daily basis. All right, you guys. Okay, I am so excited for this video. I have been waiting for a while to open these boxes up and show y'all what is inside. And I'm also excited because this is a collab with my sweet friend, Christy, from One Blessed Mess. She also has a Good and the Beautiful haul that she is going to be sharing with you guys too. So after you finish here, go over and check out what she's got. I really, I can't wait to see what she has. I just love these things so much. Can you tell? <laughs> So before I get into the boxes, I wanted to share with you guys how I was able to even get any of this stuff. So The Good and the Beautiful a few months ago had a photo contest and they picked 15 winners and gave them each $400 to splurge on their website. Now I don't consider myself like a photographer or I don't really take like amazing pictures. You know, I see all these amazing pictures on, on Instagram and on social media and I'm just like, well, I, I just don't, I don't have that talent. So I tried a few different pictures and I just kind of gave up on it. And then um, I saw my daughter sitting and reading one day and I was like, well, let me just go and snap a shot of her and you know see if it works and so we did and we took a couple of different shots because um because then at that point it was turning into like a photo shoot you know <laughs> i submitted it and i didn't think about it anymore and then i got the notification that i was one of the winners And I was just like amazed. I was completely amazed and completely thankful that they would think that my photo was anything. So not only was I shocked that I won, but I was so happy that Christy won also. So again, don't forget to check out her video also. So what I have here is not all of my curriculum that I'm going to be using for next year, but don't forget to subscribe if you want to check out and see what I'm doing next year for my ooh, second grader. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> second grader, my first grader, my pre-K and my hot schooler. <laughs> all right, you guys, let's dive in. I am so excited. This is in no particular order. So I am just going to show you what we've got in here. So I already kind of unwrapped all of them because they really know how to pack their stuff over at The Good and the Beautiful. So I unwrapped it already for you guys, so I'm just gonna show you what I've got. So the first thing I've got is my level one for my now kindergartner, but now he's going into level one, and I can't believe that he is even at the point where he's almost ready for this. It's pretty crazy. And I actually have a flip through video of level one and I will leave it in the description box below and kind of link it up here. I'm not really sure I'm having some issues with the eye in the sky thing. So, but if you want to see a flip through of this, I will leave the link below. The next thing I have here is the pre-K book for my, she is going to be a brand new four year old when she starts this and she is so ready for it. She is the one that we have been doing the letter of the week program with from Confessions of a Homeschooler and have absolutely loved that. And she is so ready to go into this and stay tuned for my um, preschool video and I'll show you what else I am doing with her this year. 
The next thing I have is for my second grader and it is the math two. Oh my goodness. I have loved these math books and so has she and so has my kindergartner and so I just cannot wait. I did not have to get the manipulatives box, the activity box, because the activity box for level one is the same as it is for level two. So I already have all of that. So it's really inexpensive this year for her, for her math. So I just purchased book one for her right now, um, mostly because I don't want to have to store book two. And that's what I did last year with all of their maths. So I'm just going to wait once she is done with this one or almost done with this one to go ahead and order the next book. But there usually are two books for their math levels. I think I said that right. <laughs> And to go along with this um, level two is uh, my weekly planner. So there are some things that you have to order even though you already have the activity box. You do have to order a few additional things um, like their calendars. And um, if it's a new kid going in, you have to reorder the, um, what is it? The place value charts for them. Um, but once you have them, you can continue to use those same place value charts um, in the future. So the weekly planner here, I'm really excited for this. It's, she really likes that part of the level one where she got to plan out like her own week and she got to put stickers on and different things like that. I don't believe that this one comes with stickers. No, I don't see any. Um, but I think she likes the idea of scheduling out her day like mama. And so, um, and so yeah, I'm really excited. And I'm wondering how they're gonna, you know, use this and put that all put this all together i'm always really impressed with how they teach things so yay okay the next thing i have the math book course book two for my kindergartner we started math with him halfway through the year this last year so i think we're only really going to finish the first book of level k math um so i got him the second one so that way he can continue with it. The next thing I have is handwriting. This is the level K handwriting for my preschooler. She already did pre-K handwriting book from The Good and the Beautiful and so she is graduating over to this one and I love just like the simplicity of it but they've got just activities so every day I usually make them do only one page a day so they can draw, um, they can color, you saw the maze so it's just a lot of fun. This one says, draw a picture of a rainbow over a hill. My boy really liked that one. <laughs> he liked, it. he loves drawing and his skills in drawing have grown so much over the past year. This has been a really good book for him and I think it's going to be really good for my four-year-old also. The next thing I have here is the level two. And this is how it comes packaged. Let me open it up for you guys. So this is the course book here. Um, gosh, it it's looks kind of similar to a lot of, oh, look at that, <laughs> of wh what the good and the beautiful does. Just beautiful, beautiful artwork and fun ways to learn oh my gosh there's just so much more artwork in here fun ways to learn um just different things this says the ugly duckling part one i love that story oh my goodness this is gonna be so much fun i just love it i can't wait for her to see it i usually give them their new books at the beginning of the next school year so they're like super excited to start them um because if i show it to them before then they'll want to do it before and i don't think i'm ready for that yet <laughs> so this is super excited so this is the course book and let's see what else comes in here phonics cards come in here um we've got the level two personal reader wow it's not this looks like a grown-up book. <sighs> Level two personal reader. Oh. And then, oh, okay, so this is a level two shared reader. So this is what she they would be reading like with you. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a lot more words in that <laughs> and they're smaller. So, so there's only like five different stories in here. So it's, it's like, 
it's like a bunch of library books like in one it's really neat I really like it so this is a shared reader that they'd be reading with you and then this is their personal reader where they can just read this on their own yeah she can totally do that I love this the quality in this you guys this is so good like this is so like not heavy duty but like the quality is very good and that is going to look beautiful on my shelf because <laughs> that's what matters right so this is the course for um level two all right the next thing i have here is i got the mammals um science unit and this is how the science units come they come unbound this is shrink wrapped they come unbound so you can do you can organize it however you want the reason why they do that is because there are a few pages in these science units that you wouldn't that you'd be pulling out of the book anyway so they figured it'd be easier and they can keep it less expensive if they have it um, just kind of shrink wrapped like this i have a video on how i organize the science units from the good and the beautiful and i'll leave that down in the description box so that way you can check it out um, and see what are your different options on how you can organize it now my kids are still small and a lot of the science units from the good and the beautiful are um, a little bit over their heads a lot of the time so but when i saw this one i knew that my kids would be interested in it they are already learning about mammals and um, animals and different things like that um, i still wasn't going to get it until i saw this so they just released this. I think there might be some left. I know they were just going until supplies lasted. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works, but um, I'm gonna open it up for you. Let me show you what they got. Isn't that so beautiful? Y'all, I'm trying to declutter my house, but you know I'm going to be like keeping this ribbon forever. I want to find a useful way to use this um, because like I don't wanna throw it away. It's just so pretty. Oh, the struggle is real, y'all. So the first thing that they have in here is kind of like an I Spy Mammals and Nature book. So they've got pictures up top here, and they can find it in the picture down below. And it looks like they've got a bunch of different facts about it, about all of the different mammals in here. Oh my goodness. My kids are going to love this. Now this package was made um, with the idea that this is for little, so for like the little toddlers in your life so they can have something to do while you're going through the mammals unit with your older kids. But I can tell you right now, all of my kids are gonna love, love, love all of these books. Another thing they have here is a small mammals flip book. Um, and, and I guess I can open it right now for you guys. All right, so there's two in here, and it's a flip book, kind of similar to, I guess, the, the pre-K flip book, if you have, are you familiar with those. Um, oh, look, so it's got the different mammals. And then, so here, if you can see, let me see, so you would cut on these dotted lines right here, and then the child would flip through until they found the right parts for one animal. So you find the head of the, I don't know what that is. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Otter, it's an otter. Nope, that, well, it's a wombat. So you find the head of the wombat, the body of the wombat, and the tail, I guess, of the wombat. Um, and then, you know, so yeah, so you can just flip through that until you find it. Um, and there's two of them. Oh, it says, uh-oh, these mammals are mixed up. Are you able to put them back together? And then here are all of the different ma animals in this book. So that's super cute, you guys. I just love cute things. And the last little thing in that package is, what can you do, what can you do, kangaroo? <laughs> My goodness. It's just a cute little reader. And you can do it as a read aloud. Oh my goodness. You guys, I just want to like bust all of these open and just use them all right now. 
Okay, so now I spent a, a good portion of my winnings, <laughs> I guess you could say, um, on the on library books because my oldest is such a good reader and she loves books and I am finding it very, very difficult already to keep track of what she's putting in her mind. And so I know I can always trust the books from the Good and the Beautiful Library. So I wanted to invest in those books so that way she can take them and read them on her own and I know that what she's reading is good and beautiful. <laughs> so the first one that we got is um, Melissa Across the Fence and this is a level five. I don't know if you can see that at all but it's a level five and this one will probably be more of a read aloud so she is going into level two. She is about two levels ahead. So she has no trouble reading anything from like level three, level four, um, but going into level five, that starts to get a little bit more, um, not difficult for her because she can read all of these words, but um, her attention span is just not quite there yet. So this is probably gonna be more of a read aloud. And then here we have level four um, Beanie box set, and that comes with these two books in here, Beanie and his dog and Beanie and his pony. I, I feel like they are the same as the House on Stilts one. So they're, they're big, they're significantly bigger than you can see as um, than some of their other library books. So yeah, these have pictures in them on every page. So they're black and white, but they're so beautiful. I mean, look at that. So pretty. So she, this is level four. She can probably read this one on her own um, and it's got all of the pictures to keep her attention. Um, but I don't know, I might use these as a read aloud also. I'm not sure. We'll just see how, I just kind of play it by ear and see how it goes. Um, we also got the little treehouse set. They were out of stock of the game when I ordered all my stuff. And so I just got the books. These are super easy for her, um, but I have to keep my other children in mind also because they're coming up right behind her. So there are two books in here and you can already see like the pictures are just more colorful. Um, the words are bigger and more simple, but they are like chapter books. Look, chapter three. Um, so that's kind of neat that they can Here's chapter four. They can just be like, oh, I can read a chapter book. Not that they really know what that is, but, but it's neat. And look, there are some pages in here too that don't have any pictures. Um, so it's a good transition. So this was um, level 2B. And here's book number two. Book number two seems a little bit more hefty. Pretty, pretty. So these she can most definitely read on her own. The next one I got is mole ho Moles Holes. <laughs> and this was actually recommended when you get the mammals unit. And so I wanted to get this. And this one is super, super easy. And this is not necessarily for her. I mean, she will probably want to read it. Um, but it is also for uh, my boy that's coming up and he is starting to read a whole lot better and so this is for him and this is super thin if you can see that this is level 1a the next one is level one and this is also for my boy mark lives on mars um, and he is super into space we just watched the launch of spacex and he was just so over the moon no pun intended <laughs> But he was so happy. And so I figured this one would be kind of easy for him to read and it would be something that he'd want to read also because he is all about space. Like he can tell you like the name of the dwarf planets. He draws the planets in order, even the dwarf planets. It's pretty crazy. So I think he'll really enjoy that one. Another one I got was for him too, because this is my poor boy, he is surrounded by women. And I mean, when his dad goes to work, he is 
really like surrounded by just women all day long um, and so I got this one um, because I think it was Ashley at Grace and Grit that recommended this one that her little boy enjoyed it and so I thought I'd give this a shot and this is level five so I definitely am um, thinking this is going to be a read aloud for us and we do our read alouds during lunchtime and so I'm hoping that he will enjoy that one. Another one that I got is New Boy in School. And this one might be a read aloud for us. I'm not really sure. It's level three. So my, um, my oldest can read it pretty well. Um, but I saw it and I, I just thought it was very appropriate for our times if you know what I mean. And we live in the South, and so I thought this would be a good kind of jumping off point to talk about, you know, tougher issues like this with my six-year-old and just kind of show her that um, yeah, we have it easy, but not everybody does. And not throughout history did everybody have it easy. So just to have that empathy for others and just to kind of teach her that we need to be in prayer, that we need to be in prayer for others in our communities. Um, and we need to not only pray, but we need to probably take action and love people no matter where they come from no matter the color of their skin no matter the status um, we need to love people because that's what the jesus came and he did he loved people and he said to love each other like he loved us and he died for us so <laughs> That's a pretty big deal. And so I thought that maybe this book might help me just kind of teach them a little bit on how we should love others the way that Jesus loved them and to also forgive others the way that Jesus forgave. So yeah, there's a lot of pressure on this book, but. <laughs> Another book we got was Maria's Many Colors. Um, and I'll be honest, I just got this because it's just so beautiful. Like the cover is just really pretty and her name is Maria. And <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, this is a level two. Again, she will probably be able to read this all on her own. This actually looks like one of my children, right? So yeah, so I like this one. Um, another book we got was Freddie and Linda. And y'all, honestly, I just went through and I bought like all of their books that were picture books and all the levels all the way up to level three um, that we didn't have. So this is level three. I don't know if this is going to be, it probably will be a read aloud at this point in our lives. I like books that have like friendships in them and I thought that this would be really good for my kids. Um, something else that I got that is from the library but is part of their curriculum are the beginner books box um, set C and box set D. So my boy is in box set B right now, so this is gonna be coming up shortly. And I do have a video about box set A and B. If y'all would like me to kind of go and do a flip through and like a review on this, then leave me a comment below and let me know. And I'd love to do that for you guys if that's something that you want. Another one we got is Jane and the King, and it is level 1B. Now this is a hardcover book, and let's see. I'm, I'm very bad at flipping through these for you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is one, what did I say, 1B. So this is re like really easy for them. So it's level, so it goes 1A, 1B, and then level one in difficulty. I don't know how well this is going to tie into like for reals history, um, but we just learned about medieval times in classical conversations last year. So um, I thought this one would be kind of kind of fun for her. The next one I have is level five, and it is calico. And again, level five has some pictures, but mostly it's just words and they're trap they're definitely broken out into chapters. So this will be a read aloud for us right now. But I love having these because they can just come back later on when she can read those levels and she could just have all of these good, beautiful books to read through again. The next one we got is Prudy and it is a level four book and it is black and white pictures, um, but I'm okay with black and white pictures. They're some of the prettiest pictures that I've seen. 
Um, the next one is a level four and it's Toby has a dog. See, that's kind of the same um, as Prudy, but different illustrations, obviously different types of illustrations. The next books I have are picture books. So these are the ones that the Good and the Beautiful has released so far. And this one is called The Spark. But this one is specifically is to go with their energy unit. But I'm not getting their energy unit just yet. And but I think I thought this would be a really good way to explain who Michael Faraday is. <laughs> yeah. The next one is a leaf, a stick and a stone. Level 1A. And this is just so pretty. And so something that we have gotten away from is me just sitting down, not only with my older kids or not at lunchtime, but just sitting down on the couch and reading a picture book. Um, and so I got some of these because I just, I missed that. And so I wanted to do that again with my kids. The next one here is The Amazing Mind of Granville Woods. And this also is made to go with their energy unit. But again, we're not quite doing that one yet. But I thought this would be kind of a good introduction for when we do do their energy unit. And I think this is, I think this is the last one. But this book here, A Basket of Plums. So this one is a hard cover. Oh, it's part of their, I was looking at the levels, but it's part of their picture book. So if you go into their website and you click picture books, this one will pop up. And so will the rest of those. And this one is just, again, like I'm saying about all of them, they're just so pretty. And I think this would be just perfect for, especially my six-year-old and probably my five-year-old he tends to not want to sit for books very much so I don't know I don't make him sit just yet but um because look there's just I can already already tell this is like rich language over here and then these just full page pictures um that's going to just keep my girl's attentions really well I think so this is just so pretty Mm. This is just so pretty, you guys. So I love this. So I don't know. I might bust out some plums and kind of do it as a read aloud as they're snacking on some plums or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I just kind of go with the flow around here. All right, y'all. Well, that was it. That's everything that I got for this haul from The Good and the Beautiful. I have already ordered more curriculum for next year, and so I am excited to show you guys what we are going to use, not only from The Good and the Beautiful, but I actually have other things in there also that I'm going to um, kind of just add in. I'm planning on also doing a video on our summer plans and what we're going to do for kind of like summer homeschool type of thing. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon. All right, you guys well i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up you can also follow me over on instagram at dina underscore pursuing peace and don't forget to go over and check out what christy has in her good and the beautiful haul all right y'all well i will see y'all next week with a new video i hope you're having a blessed day bye oh my goodness it's so heavy <laughs> and to go ugh. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> so the week, bleh. and this one is level 1A. Oops. The next book, bleh. and the last thing in the little package of Maminal, of man, Maminal, Manimals, Manimals. I'm in it. I'm going to go look at Christy's video. Bye.